Tesla has a surprise for us and it will be unveiled on September 5th. We don't know much about it, but it's still exciting that something positive is coming our way and I'm looking forward to that. Also, there's something else positive. Uh, today, Tesla has patented an interesting technology. We'll see when and how it's going to make it into its features. And then, of course, the comment of the day and a few other things. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to the show. Thank you for watching me live to all of my Patreons. Uh, there are quite a few uh, uh, new ones that I saw yesterday. I'll be giving some shout outs at the end of the show. Uh, but if this is your first time here and you're watching me on YouTube, welcome. If you're interested in everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, well, you came to the right place. Just go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there. It's free and you won't miss anything moving forward. All right. This is the image that Tesla, um, I wouldn't even say released, I guess. Um, I think I forget. I think it was Autoblog that posted an invitation to, I guess, select few, which I am not, um, uh, to attend the event. I think it's in Switzerland, and it is for this um, interesting artsy auto show, I guess, called uh, Grand Basel. Here's a picture from their from their media side, and it looks very artsy, very alternative, uh, and and I guess that uh, they. Um, I guess they unveil concept cars there and like it's almost like uh, dedicated to alternative art and design of auto, uh, auto making. And so, you know, and Tesla picks very oddly the shows and events that they choose to participate in. So I'm not really surprised they, the, they, uh, they chose this one. It does look and sound kind of cool. Uh, wish I could be there, but um, now they did not say they're going to be unveiling a new car. They just basically said that they're going to be bringing a surprise. And the, you know, some people are guessing by this image it's going. They're going to bring the the next generation uh, Roadster, but that's not really a surprise. I'm wondering if it's going to be some unveiling of a spec or something like that. But with Elon Musk, you never know. You do know that you will be surprised. So that's. That's a good thing. So I'm excited about that. Let me know what you think that surprise might be because uh, let's see who guesses it right. I'm not guessing at all. I'm just, you know, I'm, I, I hope it's the new policy on uh, uh, Twitter account usage on Tesla. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. But hey, you know, I've been wrong before. All right, another news from Tesla that's actually even me maybe more interesting than this one. Uh, let me tell you about this, but before that, of course, I want to mention that this show and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. Um, there's a discount code in the description of this video. Grab it, save yourself some money, have a great day. Uh, my Tesla has a, a, a lot of these accessories, um, and that's why they sponsor the show, because I'm a fan, and they're a fan, and it all worked out. All right, let's move on. Tesla just patented, uh, or I, I, I don't know if they patent or just file for the patent. I, I, I'm assuming they file for the patent and they're gonna get hopefully approved at some point, but it's about the blinker technology, right? And it's interesting because essentially they're saying that they're going to predict when you're just about to change the lane or make a turn, and then they're just gonna turn the blinker on, and when you're done, it's gonna turn the blinker off. Now, it's funny because right now, they don't even have that right, because I don't know if for those of you guys who have an autopilot, I have an autopilot one, I don't know if it's different on autopilot two, let me know, but when you are, uh, you know, when you're on a pilot and you put turn the blinker on, if it's safe, it will change the lane for you, right? But it won't turn the blinker off <laughs> for you. So hopefully that would be the first thing they fix. Um, but it's interesting in their in their patent and they're talking about how they're going to see if you're applying the pressure to the steering wheel in a certain way and does it mimic a behavior like the, how you normally behave and move when you are changing lanes. So it's kind of going to be very AI heavy, uh, which is great, which is really cool. But I'm also thinking like, you know, a lot of times, and I think driving a Tesla doesn't help here, and I think also driving BMW doesn't help, is when I turn my blinker on, a lot of, and I know there's a space, you know, for me to change lanes, people actually accelerate to not let me in. So a lot of times, I don't want to have the blinker on. As a matter of fact, I'd like to not let them know uh, uh, so that I want to change lanes and so I can actually squeeze in there uh, before they close the gap. And even if you squeeze in there um, before they even get there, they will still try to you know, tailgate you and just be complete you know, a-holes. But and, and I've noticed that a lot. Uh, I don't know if it's because I moved to Sacramento, there are less Teslas here or less love for Teslas here, but I've noticed that. Um, and I know some other people told me about that. So, so I'm not really sure if that's the technology I would like to use, but I sure would like you know, Prius drivers to maybe have that technology in there. Um, 
So I'm kind of 50-50. It's interesting, and I and I hope they can get it right. But I'm not really sure if I would be a customer uh, because I sometimes I like I like to I like to have enough space to change the lanes. Um, so yeah. Um, now I, I know I teased uh, this image. Well, Mercedes Benz did, um, but I, I featured it yesterday, and I thought I was going to the unveiling in um, on the fourth in um, in uh, Sweden. And I was going, but then I actually realized that I will not be back for the TechCrunch Disrupt, uh, where I'm already moderating a few panels there. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be going there and covering it for you guys live or even bringing a footage. I will still cover it and there will be plenty of footage to go around. But unfortunately, I already have another commitment. So um, sorry, I just kind of realized that I, I, I saw it on my schedule and I knew that I, I had an event there and then uh, I knew I wasn't, just wasn't going to be able to get back and fly back uh, for my uh, panel moderation and the TechRage Disrupt for the, for the Byton, for Byton's uh, booth. So, um, all right. So, by the way, before I go into the uh, comment of the day, which of course is, was about my yesterday's rant, I guess, or report about um, Elon Musk's um, tweet, which I greatly disliked. Um, let me give you a shout out because I think that video, I, I think there's a record number of Patreons that I got. Uh, it seems that people who, um, I don't think you guys enjoy me being negative, but I think you enjoy uh, seeing me being uh, uh, fair uh, to Elon Musk and Tesla and everybody else. And I think um, I, ha I had a lot of people unsubscribe yesterday because they, you know, I, I'm talking badly about the Supreme Leader and, and sorry about that, but um, I think also um, I, I get a lot of Patreon injections because of the fair coverage of the news. If you want to be Patreon, by the way, by all means, patreon.com slash e4electric, um, you'll be supporting the show, and most importantly, you'll be able to watch me live. I, I do this segment right after the, uh, this, the actual show for my Patreons, where we just kind of talk uh, more personal stuff and some of the behind the scenes stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, well, so there are quite a few of them. I'm not even going to fit all of them in. Uh, Chris uh, Abbott here uh, became a patron. Thank you so much, Chris. I really appreciate it. Uh, ben Thorsten as well uh, became a patron, and I appreciate that as well. A few others, and I will feature you guys tomorrow. I'll definitely I'll get to everybody. I'm just kind of trying to spread it around. But um, thank you, thank you for supporting me, being unbiased, and thank you. I mean. Yes, just thank you for understanding where I'm coming from. But let's now move on to the next part, which is the comment of the day. And of course, you know, I've been featuring more comments that are kind of of people who disagree with me than the people who agree with me. I guess that's that's the whole point of the show. But here's one. And uh, so, by the way, just for those of you who, 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 who didn't watch my show yesterday, this was me yesterday. I'm uh, greatly disappointed in another thing that Elon Musk tweeted out. And I did an extensive rant about it. Uh, some of you liked it, some of you didn't like it, some of you agreed, some of you didn't agree, some some of you joined us Patreon, some of you unsubscribed. It's it was it was an interesting day. Uh, but um, and and here's the comment that um, I've seen a few times. I I, I I mean I didn't get that much hate for it, but uh, Stormy Brown uh, here says, "Gosh, someone hates Elon Musk, lol. You love doing these videos on him." Uh, yeah, that doesn't look like a guy who loves doing what he's doing at that moment. And I think if you would have watched the video, Stormy, did you watch the video? Because I have a feeling when somebody makes a comment like that, you guys didn't even bother watching the video. I multiple times I said how much I, I hate doing these shows. I multiple times said I, you know, I, I still very much admire uh, Elon Musk and what he's doing. He's still an undisputed leader of this movement. Um, and so... Um, I absolutely hate doing those videos. They certainly give me way, way, way more grief than other videos in terms of the comments, the people saying, I am out of here, you hate Elon Musk, and you know, how dare you? And listen guys, the news is the news, okay? Um, I don't make them. I, I'm, I'm, think of me as a, um, I think I said it before, as a, a mailman with an opinion, right? I will deliver whatever the hell is coming your way as far as news is concerned, and I'll tell you what I think about it, but at the same time, I'll appreciate your opinions as long as it's respected. I, I just mentioned that I, I think I've, I, I, I feature more people who disagree with me than people who agree with me here. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I absolutely. So obviously, a comment about how much I hate Elon Musk is silly. Uh, but I absolutely, uh, and so is the one that I love doing those videos. By the way, those videos don't do very well. Those videos uh, get less uh, views than if I do a video about how great Model 3 is, by the way, which it is. 
Um, so yeah, that nobody really wins, but I mean, this is my job and I think I've done it well yesterday, just like I do my best every day. So sorry if, and again, uh, Stormy, I would certainly invite you to actually watch the video that you're commenting on because I think you will see how a bit silly your comment is. But that's why I'm featuring it. And listen, I appreciate you um, participating in the discussion. Though again, please do watch the video. And again, mm, not a happy guy right here. Not not at all. Like that 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 was that's how I spent my whole morning that day before I even went on the air. Just like that was me. Um, all right. So, uh, but see how, how when Elon Musk doesn't tweet anything you know, uh, controversial how short the shows are because it's over now. But not for those of you who are watching me on Patreon. We're going to do the Extra Mile segment right now. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.